said, I will deserve the electoral victory. There is no doubt in the mind of every Zambian who the real victors are. You, your party, your PND, and your presidential candidate, myself, are the winners. By denying you of your victory, your call for change has been suppressed. However, for us in UPND, it's a temporary setback. The struggle continues. So that's a video of uh, Anderson Mazoka. Um... Uh, 2001, uh, the founding president of the UPND and the father to Mutinta uh, Mazoka. So it has uh, surfaced on, online that now uh, Mutinta Mazoka resigns from UPND on um, Saturday, 27th, 2022. Um, in, a two, in a two sentence, uh, uh, dated 8th November, Mutinta Mazoka ended a resignation from the party, I mean, um, to the party, uh, UPND Secretary General uh, Toka Imeda. Uh, the letter read, I'm hereby uh, tendering my resignation from the UPND with immediate effect. Uh, I thank you all uh, leaders and members of the UPND uh, the opportunity to work with. Mutinta Mazoka is the wife of our Socialist Party President, uh, Dr. Fred Membe. Mutinta Mazoka was the unelected member of uh, the UPND's National Management Committee as of the time of our resignation. So when this uh, information was circulated on uh, Smart Eagles, there was some um, suspicion to say maybe it's uh, yeah, PF propaganda. But then uh, hours later on, uh, she confirmed it on her page. This is uh, Mutinta Mazoka's page. So confirmation to, of my departure from the UPND. I have received many messages from different people all asking me the same question. It is true, I mean, is it true that you have resigned from the UPND? Uh, to everyone and responding to these messages, I would like to confirm that I, I have indeed left the United Party for National Development. I resigned on 8th uh, November 2022. Beyond this confirmation, I am not available for any media interviews. Thank you for your understanding, Mutinta B. Mazoka. So that's the daughter of the founding president of the UPND, and she's left the party. And uh, obviously, as you can see, a lot of media houses are reaching out, trying to get that exclusive interview with her, trying to find out why she should leave a party that her father fought so hard for. Others are insinuated to say, no, all she was waiting for is to see the father's dream of the party that he fought for become in state house and then now she can live on and move on to something else. And then another group of uh, society is also saying it's because she wasn't appointed in the current uh, UPND government. But from what I know, her mother has been appointed, I think is a nominated member of parliament. Uh, I stand to be corrected on that information, but I know the, the mother is definitely appointed in one of the portfolios within the new government. So that's the information. Uh, daughter of the founding president of the UPND has resigned officially from the UPND. Uh, those are some of the pictures from her farm. And yeah, uh, she, she was known to, to fight for the party uh, during the build up to the elections. Uh, ideally, she was supposed to be the candidate for Munari constituency. I remember she started campaigning within Munari constituency to stand as a member of parliament but it seems like she, she was not adopted or she was advised otherwise. Then she moved on to either Mazabuka or one of the towns within in the southern province where she wanted to contest, either where the current Home Affairs Minister is from, but she was also not given that opportunity or she stepped down. So it could be like a build-up of all those incidences that has made her crack. But this was her in an election day. So we've just arrived at Unza Sports Hall, at the Unza Sports Hall, 
where I am voting, the line is already crazy. Wow. That is what we're seeing. My word, have you seen the queue? The queue is literally wrapping around. It's insane. You know what? Maybe we should park there Where? in front. Mm -hmm. Then you take out my wheelchair and then we park on the side. Park. My name is MG90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you do not miss the uploads that come out. And uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. You'll find videos curated for you based on your interest. So if you're interested in the Kutika podcast, you'll find a playlist for that for news and trends. There's a playlist for that. Exclusive a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest. So the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight this and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the things that we're doing here and uh, share that.